Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. We're going to do a review of Kentucky Colonel Seasoned Fish Fry. Found this beautiful thing at Walmart. Very cheap. Um, we've tried the chicken before, so we're going to do the fish. And my fish du jour is uh, Pollock or Pollock. You know, P, I'll spell it out. Anyways, it's hard to pronounce when you're a French Canadian. But um, because it's two L's, it's... Anyways, whatever. It's too much information. So... <clears throat> First time trying it. This is the collapsible batter bowl by Can Cooker, Game Maker, or Game something. Game. Game you read. Hang on. Game Maker. Anyways, it's uh, purchased at Amazon. I will. Um, let, me, let me think about this. I'll put a link to that. I always put a link to that, but it's awesome. Um, in my older videos, you see me using the batter pro bowl that used to be sold at. Uh, uh, Bass Pro, and they don't sell it anymore, uh, discontinued, so. But we have this now. So I've got three fillets here that I've rinsed. Don't pat them dry or anything. We need something to stick to that. Or, now see, I'm reviewing a product. I don't mess with it. I don't add nothing, don't do anything different. What you could do is either coat this with um, the Ingelhofer mustard that is so lovely. The spicy one is so great. Or just plain old mayonnaise, just to have that batter stick a little bit, okay? So you can do that. You just put that there. And some of this beautiful batter. I'm not going to use all that. Probably pack the bag. I think it's less than two bucks. I'm not sure. But just enough to coat whatever you're doing. Now, you know what's nice about the Kentucky Colonel stuff? I noticed that today. Check it out. You see what I'm seeing? Air fryer instructions. Okay. But... What they have on here is pretty thick fish. My fish is not thick, so it's not going to take as long, probably. Probably about eight, ten minutes. I'll see. We'll go from it. Um, okay. So you put the top on there, like so. And just close it. There's no leaking. It's great. And you just shake it. Okay. Now, if you're going to purchase this thing and you're going to use it, wash it right away. Okay. This is a bunch of tiny holes, and you don't want that stuff to stick in there forever, so... Rinse it with some good hot water. Wash it with some good water. Hot water. I'm not trying to tell you how to wash your dishes, but you know. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more. You can see a couple bare spots there. It's a pretty color. So about half a bag, like I said. Okay. Use your vacuum sealer to close that bag back up and you're good to go. Vacuum sealer, mini food processor. Must haves in the kitchen. Okay, so before I get my hands dirty, I'm going to get my pan ready. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, put this aside. And I'm just going to let it roll. Let it roll. One woman show. Ooh, okay, I'm using the flat pan because these are baked fillets. And if you don't have the flat pan, take the paddle out of uh, your air fryer. And, uh, but this will give me more room to fit another piece. You can still put a piece on top of that turning thing, but you just gotta be careful with that. You don't want that to stop turning because it's gonna, you know, freeze up the motor in there. So I'm gonna spray some olive oil. Okay, this is my Evo, where are you at? Evo sprayer, always a link to that when I use it. Okay, I'm gonna get my hands dirty because I don't wanna use the clamps for this. Ooh, it's such a pretty fish. Just like so. Oh, yeah, three pieces. Good job. Now, I usually do fish for fish tacos once a week, so this is why I, I do my fish just for fish tacos. And it's okay to review something for fish tacos because there's so much other seasoning going on with this. Let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, guys. Now, I, do, I never spray right away, okay, when I use a batter. I always wait probably about four or five minutes, but fish doesn't take so long. So I'm going to take, I'm going to say about three minutes, I'm going to start spraying it with this. Uh, olive oil spray. It's got a light mist. You can find these at Walmart as well. Um, I buy them on Amazon. It's a pack of two for about the same price. But anyways, I'm going to spray that about three minutes in, okay? I'll let you know in total cooking time, but we are frying, so everything's full blast on your air fryer. Mine's at number four. If you look under description, it's got the settings of what this number means. It's about 370 degrees. Bottom's on, so there's no flipping, and I'll be back. You guys, we're talking 11 minutes. And I think that's beautiful. What a lovely coating. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna plate it and I'll taste it for you. It's time to taste. 
beautiful, eh? I would try a shrimp with this for sure. Let's try it out, eh? Nice and flaky. Give me some of that crustiness on the bottom. Yes, that's what's nice about the DeLonghi. You don't have to flip food over. There we go. Mmm. Whoa. There you go, Wanel. That is good. Really, really good. It's got a little salt in the back, but not too crazy. It's a little spicy, like a little bit of pepper, not like too hot to handle. Okay. A little bit of cornmeal in the background, not too much, which is lovely. This is a nice coating for fish, you guys. I like it a lot. You really don't have to zhuzh it up. It's good as is. I mean, if you want to make it more spicy, you could put some cayenne or something in there. But I say it's it's got a little 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 kick in the background. Not too bad. It's probably why they show a little bit of coleslaw there on the side. It's probably a good side item. Very nice. All right, Kentucky Colonel, you did good with this one. I'm pretty impressed. You don't need to, um, you know, do anything to it. All right, a scale of one to five. I'm going to give this a good 4.8 because it's, it's actually pretty nice. You see this? Get it. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.